That was not supposed to happen. I think we, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Oh my god! You know what? Let me just see. This is what happens when I be doing too much. Wow. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> what's good? You know who you like? A boogie. I'm back and I'm better. Like Bryson Taylor with another video. So boy Chazor. AKA Poppy Trey, AKA the Toronto Tiller, AKA the President's Faithful Black Man Association. Don't chase me, chase your dreams. That was not supposed to happen. You may be wondering why I'm wearing these tinted shades. It's because I want to, okay? I'm cool like that. Some of you guys can't pull it off. That's not my issue. Anyways, today I was just gonna take you guys through a little fake unboxing because I already unboxed it of a new camera that I got. And I I dropped the lens on the ground, so I guess we're gonna see if it broke. <laughs> you feel me? Okay, so the story behind this is I've been wanting another camera for music videos and a little higher quality stuff, right? So if you guys didn't know, I'm using the Canon M50 right now. This is more like a vlog-ish camera. I got the kit lens on it. But I talked to one of my friends who used to do a lot of videography stuff and I asked him, yo, if I'm trying to really like get a next camera for music videos and other stuff like that, what should I get? And he recommended me something. But I also talked to Noah Boat, shout out to Noah Boat from Love Live Serve, and I asked him, yo, what cameras do y'all use? And he told me, uh, actually, let me see, let me go back to the DM. I'm still mad I dropped that, you know? I'm pissed, just so y'all know I'm not lying. He didn't answer me the second time, but he answered me the first time, it's okay. Shout out to Noah. Uh, he says he used a Canon 5D Mark IV for the main channel and the Sony A7S III for the vlogs. Those aren't cheap cameras. They're really not. I don't have Sony A7S III money at this current moment. So I tried to go for something else, feel me? So I went on Facebook Marketplace. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically just a place where people sell things. You get stuff, you use secondhand, whatever. I ended up getting the Sony A6500. Not sponsored, but if you want to sponsor me, Sony, yeah. Hit, hit my messages. Yeah, let's just go through it. Let's start with the main thing, the big boy. Actually, let's just take everything out of the box first. In general, let me give you the story about with, with the guy that I got it from. Went on Facebook Marketplace, saw a guy selling like a bundle and he was selling it for, I think 1600. Here's a tip for whenever you're bargaining on Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji or Craigslist or anything. Lie. Now, if the dude that told me this, watches this somehow, I'm sorry, but this is just business. He put it for 1600, right? What you gotta do, is pick a town really, really far away and say, yo, I'm coming from this town and I will come right now. That's it, speed up the urgency. I will come right now, coming from this town, drop it like $300 or something for me. So I'm like, yo, can you do 1300 from 16? He's like, how about we do 14, meet it in the middle. I'm like, all right, cool. But I'm not dumb. I know how up sales and up pricing, whatever it's called is. He probably put it for 1600 knowing someone's gonna try to bring it down. So he probably really only wanted 13 or 14, but he said 16 because he knows how people are. But anyways, you got the camera in here. You got the lens, the first lens. Got a screen protector. By the way, I, I paid four, yeah, I just said that. What am I talking about? I just said that. The rest of the stuff in here is just the manuals and stuff. But then also got another lens, little camera bag. Also in the camera bag, you got a rig, a strap, and there's another extra battery somewhere. I, I can't remember where I put it. So now let's open this. How do unboxers do this? Okay, so in the main box, like I said, I already unboxed it, so the lens is on it, but the lens usually won't be on it, it would just be the body. As you can see, it's it's kind of used. He said he got it in like 2017, there's a little bit of scratches and stuff. The screen protector is old, so he gave me the new one if I wanted to change it. A little, you know, it's you can tell it's been dropped a couple times. Honestly, this is just something for right now. I'm definitely gonna get another, I'm probably, I wanna get the A7S III, but this is just right now what I'm using, you know, to kind of get off the ground with music videos and stuff like that, because I've been lacking on them. And I'm the type where if I'm gonna do something, I wanna do it right, if I'm doing a music video or music videos. I want them to be good, like good quality, good concepts, treatments, everything. That's why I've been waiting. I, I'm just not 
throwing together a bunch of clips of me just outside my house. Like that's not really the vibe that I'm going for. You smell me, turn it on. This would be really embarrassing if it doesn't turn on right now. Oh, scared me for a second, as you can see. My one thing that I like, I don't really like about buying stuff secondhand is there's no warranties or insurance. If stuff like stops working, then I don't know. This one's not really touchscreen. I heard this is only touchscreen for like autofocus. It's not like the M50 where it's touchscreen for everything. That's what I like about that camera. But you could definitely tell the quality difference. 4K in-body image stabilization. Some of you guys like, don't know what any of this means. I know it sounds kind of foreign to you, but it's all right the charger and a strap. I ain't talking about a 22, you feel me? Then there's this little thing. This is the thing for the viewfinder. Also, the extra battery. This is the box for the lens that's already on it. So there's obviously nothing in that. Now let's see if I broke the lens because I did not mean to drop it. It's in bubble wrap, so it should be good. This is the lens. It's a 55 to 210 millimeter F 4.5 to 6.3. Now, I'm not a camera super specialist, so I don't know exactly what all that means, but I kind of have an idea. You know, it's a zoom lens, so you see, it, there you go. See how that bad boy zoom out and zoom in like that? It's gonna give me some good shots, you heard? This is what it looks like on the camera. Sorry, I was getting too carried away just looking at it because I haven't really even opened these a lot. So yeah, so then the rig goes over it. I'd have to like, put this in here and do a bunch of stuff. Honestly, I don't know how, I would have to look it up how to really like put this on properly or do you just hold it in here? I don't know. I've never used a rig before. Do you just hold it or is it supposed to like snap into place or something? Or do I just hold it together? I think I might just have to hold it or this, no, I think this bottom thing goes into it and like screws in or something like that. But you could put like a light, a monitor, whatever type of stuff on top of it so you can use it to do whatever you're doing. So like I said, I got this camera because it's point in time where you know you gotta step up the production quality, but also you don't need any of this. If you can't afford new flashy cameras, work with what you have, bro. I know too many people are like, I wanna start a YouTube channel, but I don't have a good camera and I don't have lights and I don't have this and that, bro. You can use your phone. Everyone has a smartphone. Everyone probably has an iPhone. You got an Android, I don't know what you're doing, but everyone has a smartphone. You can literally make YouTube videos on your phone and get hundreds of thousands and millions of views, bro. It, it happens every day, it happens all the time. So there's really no excuses. When people tell me all that, I'm just like, yo, you're not serious then. Or it's like, oh, I want to start my YouTube, but I don't want to edit. Okay, so then you don't want money. You're not serious. That's all. If you're not serious, just say that. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> what are you talking about? You see the vein? This, this wasn't cheap. I paid $1,400. It's not like I just have $1,400 to fling around. Like, I invested in this. So I definitely have to use it to its fullest potential and not waste my good, good money. I just feel like sometimes you have to throw yourself into the deep end to force yourself to swim. And this is kind of one of those situations where it's like, okay, it's not like I necessarily have the fourteen to blow, but I'm going to do it so it forces me to go harder. I've been lacking on YouTube a lot recently because I've just been kind of focused on TikTok, trying to grow that. But I can kind of do it at the same time. YouTube is kind of harder for me because I don't really, like TikTok, I just do a little skit that's easy. YouTube is not that simple. Like you have to have ideas, have a video, and I don't really know what to make videos about. We're in a pandemic. I can't go anywhere. There's not really much to do. I'm not doing fake pranks and lyric videos and all that weird stuff. No offense if you do that, but that's just not for me, you know? So I don't know. I'm still kind of trying to figure it out. If I had to pick of the social medias, I would want to be a YouTuber. Instagram and TikTok and all that stuff is cool, but YouTube is like, bro, YouTube is YouTube, you know? So I'm going to try to figure it out. I'm going to try to get more consistent. I don't know. Do you guys care? Like when I drop those vlogs and stuff, do you guys like the vlogs? Do you guys watch them in general? Because I just be recording stuff and just throwing them out and whatever works, works and whatever doesn't work doesn't work. You guys let me know if there's anything that you want to see me do or anything that I used to do that you guys miss seeing me do. Cause YouTube changes over the years, you know? Content changes, you can't really, like now if you try to film a skit on YouTube, that's not gonna work, bro. You're not getting no views cause no one watches that anymore. So I don't know, I'm just trying to really find my place in the YouTube landscape. Cause I, I don't really know yet where I fit right because it's not like i'm not a gamer I, I wouldn't even necessarily call myself a vlogger either but i'm not a full-time musician but i'm not like a fitness person i'm not a prank person i do a little bit of everything so i'm kind of trying to focus in a little bit more and figure out what i should do you guys let me know i know some of y'all liked the reactions i don't know if you watched my last vlog where it's like i'm i'm 
pretty much mostly done reactions because it just doesn't work. Every time I'll do a reaction video, it'll get copyrighted or flagged. So it's like, why am I putting in all this time and effort for these videos and YouTube is just gonna take it down, I'm just gonna copyright it right away, fam. Like not even letting it breathe for a little bit, right away, copyright. So it's like, yo, what am I doing? That's it, I just wanted to show y'all this. If I had a choice, I would definitely just be a vlogger because then you could just talk about your life. You know, on like a, like a DDG type of thing where you could literally just make a video about anything and because people mess with you, they'll watch it and stuff. I like that. And you have kind of like a, like a family, you know, your audience is like the fam, your family. Like I said, we're in a pandemic. Everything has changed. This is not how things normally go. We're going to figure it out. I'm going to tell you that, but that's it for me. I'm going to see y'all real, real soon. Y'all stay safe, stay faithful. I'm out.